What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Never Enough Toys podcast. I am Rich Rampage. And I am Grizzdiz. And we are Grown Men and Still Collect Toys, and we thank you for joining us on thank this you. wonderful adventure of yeah. ours. Of, uh, we got a podcast, we yep. got a YouTube, if you want to check us out on YouTube, uh, Never Enough Toys on YouTube, and yep. then, uh, we got the Instagram, Yeah, and uh, I got a TikTok now. You just got a TikTok. I got a TikTok. You want to follow me on TikTok, it's rich underscore rampage on TikTok. There you go. And uh, I do all my little toy hunts and finds and all the oh, funny vids over there. So. Yeah. And it all goes to the Never Enough Toys page as well. And yep. join the group, join the discourse, oh, join yes. the conversation, and join the, they're helping each other out. I watched uh, yeah. it. I saw it happen. It was the Nick Bove and uh, Corey Kendrilli. Putting stuff just, together, man. That's, that's, that's what it's all about. The community is strong with us. Yeah. So I love that. Yeah, that, absolutely. That's cool. That's You're the, welcome. That's a great part of it. We did that. Yeah. Me and you did that. We started this. We started revolution what's up everybody thank you for joining us episode 14 or yes. season two episode, episode two, two a two two with two two one four ten four yes good buddy i dig what's, what's up, up? Bro? Boom. oh man we actually have been together for a few hours few today hours. just to uh clarify when we get together we uh our our day starts usually pretty early I was out there earlier today, before I even scooped you up. I left the house at 8 o'clock. I hit up the three targets that we have. Yeah. And I found a few things for myself and for Benny Rose, which uh, we'll talk about later. Yep. And then I scooped you up, and we went to uh, another Woodbridge toy show. Yep. Well, Pretty before much that, we hit the Walmart. Oh, we hit a Walmart. Yeah. yeah. I was looking for... Uh... Excuse me. I got gay. Ooh. Uh, an AEW, AEW, uh, trading cards. It's, it's yeah. New, Top, uh, what was it? Tops? Not, uh, upper deck. Upper deck. Upper deck, uh, is doing AEW trading cards. Uh, I think, uh, the, you're getting, uh, a pack of like, I think three or four cards that come with the figures now. Ooh. The, the newer waves are going to have like a pack of cards in them. Right, right. Which, uh, if you're scalping and stealing, don't be jerks. Yeah. Don't return um, the figure. But then there's also the single packs and then people buying the boxes of however many packs are and something like that. So yeah. uh, I've been just, the, you know, let me get a jump on it before it gets bad. Cause you know, I don't, I don't do trading cards really, but when I find all the trading cards that I have now, I was like, ah, oh, man, I wish I would have did this earlier and would have had the good stuff. So yeah, it would have been cool to jump on a box, but I haven't found any yet. But yeah, we're still uh, looking. Yeah, Walmart wasn't a. Uh, yeah, it was a bust. Right? I had a lot of stuff, but nothing great. Yeah. So, a lot of those uh, He Man CGI. Yeah, new stuff. And I'm still not uh, so getting fun. anything from them. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's all right. No and, worries. Uh, and then we met up with Benny Rose at the Woodbridge we to the uh, Toy Show. Woodbridge Toy Show again. Got a few things. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, yeah, actually. After I went back in again, I did get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so we'll talk about that yeah. booty hole. Yeah, booty holes sounds good. Uh, but first, uh, you want to get into the news? We can get into the news. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get news music. The news. Okay, so from the no the to never enough toys newsroom. Yes. Um, let me just uh, pull it up. Uh, there wasn't like crazy news, so yeah, we're going to breeze through this. Um, real quick, Mythic Legions. Okay. Uh, they had a, a um, <clears throat> in-stock sale on a bunch of um, army builder type things. They, they were the okay. reinforcement sales. Ooh. So uh, a bunch of those figures went up for sale for their regular prices. So if you didn't jump on any of those, you're stupid because now those <laughs> these figures skyrocket on the secondhand market. So... Yeah, uh, I guess so. I grabbed two figures. Aye. Aye. I wasn't you gonna did, huh? I got a I got a skeleton uh knight builder and a goblin knight builder. Okay. I, I got one in one, but you were able to get there was no limit. You can get as many as you wanted. Yeah. So and they were selling thousands. Cool. So good for them. I think the only thing left out of like the six or seven things that they had put up, they also put up uh, uh gave you another chance to get the uh, Sir Gerard 
the oh, uh, really? the Legion Con yeah, exclusive. Legion Con exclusive. I so guess they if you couldn't make it to right, I mean, and then um, they put all those up, and I think only a Goblin Builder is left. So wow. Um, and also, uh, they're doing a variant, paint variant, Krampus. Uh, uh, red, okay. s- red skin. Mm. Uh, get some red and green in there. And it's uh, really cool. So uh, that's what I got on the cool. Mythic Legions there. Nice. Uh, also, earlier this week, uh, Mattel Creations put up the WWF Retro 4 pack up for pre sale. Uh, it was uh, 12 Eastern time or something like that, which I missed. I did not miss. I, did, I, I missed, was on it I missed right at o'clock. time, and a bloop got my order in. I w- logged on around maybe one o'clock, and then I was like looking at it. I was like, mm, still there, one, still there. I was like, for for one of them to ship, or for two of them to ship, and then that's it. That's it, guys. Yeah, two. Yeah, two. Uh, two unit limit, two which is per- great. Yeah, I think that's great. It gave everybody a chance to get it. It you could have used your wife's credit card to get another two if you wanted. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, there are ways around it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but it, at least there wasn't bots buying up hundreds, and that's true. Spiking them on the and and you know what? They sold out. They did five sell out. Hours. Five hours. Yep. So that I'm happy that that happened. Yeah, I'm glad I jumped on it. Actually, I, I, it was something that I didn't want to miss. Yeah, so that's the retro uh, four pack of uh, Cowboy Bob Orton, yep. Mr. T, uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Rowdy Piper, and Mean Gene, the first announcer in the retro line. So yep. I had to jump on it. Yeah, uh, that was a no brainer. And I was like, I was on it at the time. I watched the countdown drop to zero. Yeah, and then jumped in. So uh, that was awesome. Yep. Um, also, <clears throat> all right, let's jump to Motu Motu Revelations. King Grayskull uh, went up yes. for pre-order on uh, February 2nd. Yep. Um, and on February Black 1st. Black History Month, I believe. Right, exactly. So they put up uh, the Masterverse King Grayskull. And also, hi, Kitty. Um, also, we got uh, Sun Man. Sun Man, In yes. Origins. Origins Sun Man. And there is actually have, more to it, right? We have an animal looking to cause havoc. I like it. Look, I, he's he's ready to do it. She's ready to do yeah, it. Yeah, she she's ready to Galilea. do it. Galileo, she is Galileo, Galileo, Galileo Figaro. Figaro. That's the other one, Figaro. So genius. Yeah. Anyways, so um, yes. So I put I put in my pre order. Did, did for some man also? Yep. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. Well, that wasn't always that. That wasn't all what they announced about Sun Man. Oh, yeah. Along with Sunman, upcoming allies include Digitino, a Latino computer wizard, and Space Sumo, a Asian telekinetic ninja. Dude, together I saw they that. fight for justice against the, their nemesis, the evil Pighead. They're making Pighead as I've well. I've seen it. Yeah, um, a devious picture. and spiteful lord who spreads fear and despair around the world. Yeah. Also, Sunman will be updated. Or will also come with an updated uh, flat top haircut. And <laughs> hi, hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. You don't want to talk about. It, I don't though, care. It? It's fine. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be another version of Sunman with like a flat top. Flat top, hat. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got the. Pits. So and then you got. Uh, two other guys and another bad guy, Pighead. He's really cool. Awesome. So, uh, heading think, out that line. Yeah. Giving it its, it's own happening. mythos. It's happening. It's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Um, and then also, uh, it just, it was just an image of, uh, it showed up on Amazon UK, uh, the Masterverse, uh, Tila, just what it's going to look like, yes. you know, all the colors and, you know, and she's going to have the classic um, Tila in the Revelation line. Right. And then the, like, the angry head with the angry yes. face and the long hair. So I have that. I think that's the, the wave three, uh, the wave four. It's like uh, mm-hmm. Viking, He-Man and Skeletor. And then like on Big Bad Toy Store, the listing at least is Viking, He-Man and Skeletor and then two secret. But at the time, the two secret figures weren't revealed. They were later revealed to be Tila and uh, Merman. Oh, okay. Modern, right. modern Merman. Oh, modern merman. So he's gonna have the scar on his eye, and he's like nothing on top. I think it's right. Just a yeah, no, 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 no armor, just <clears throat> the scar. Right. Yeah. 
Cool. So that's Motu news. Uh, moving along, Premium DNA. They came through with their Mad Balls figures. Those yeah. are those are out. Well, they also announced they're doing Mad Balls and Garbage Pail Kid crossover figures. Ooh. Uh, these are t- going to be two packs, um, and pretty much like I just said, they're crossovers between Mad Balls and 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 uh, Garbage Pail Kids. Nice. And uh, I think they're like. Eighty dollars or something like that, or eighty nine ninety nine or something Dang, like that. Like these per Mattel creation pack. prices. I mean, I guess Mattel creation wasn't that bad for that four pack. It was fifty bucks. Yeah, it wasn't bad. too bad. Uh, this is two figures for eighty. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah. Um, we'll but people that. really like the Mad Bolts figures. I didn't get on in on any of those, but um, yeah, they seem to be nice and they're interchangeable. You can. Move, you move parts around to different figures and stuff. So, ooh, swappability. So that's I like that. Fun. Yeah, that's fun. sure. Uh, let's uh, jump over to Super Seven. Yep. Uh, they're coming out with uh, their Ultimate Bruce Lee line. Ooh, Ultimate Bruce Lee. So they showed off two Bruce Lee figures. One with like the yellow jumpsuit. Yep. And then one with like the black pants and white uh, tank top. Mm-hmm. And shirtless as well. Yeah. Um. Came cool. If you're a Bruce Lee fan, and if you're a Super Seven uh, Ultimates fan, this oh, is perfect, perfect for you. Enjoy. Yeah. Um. Then they also they they teased me. They teased us all with a picture. Um. Uh. What seemed to be from. Uh, oh yeah, there he is, <laughs> Judge Doom. It seemed to have been Judge Doom from Who Frame Roger Rabbit. It was a picture of him about to dip this shoe into the dip. Yeah. Um, and I got excited because I would love some Who Frame Roger Rabbit uh, Ultimates. Those oh, would be man. so awesome. But what were they? Uh, they were freaking reactions. Reaction. So you know these reaction figures. They're about three inches. They have maybe five points of articulation: head, arms, and legs. Yep. Um, they stand about this tall, and they're eighteen dollars a piece, which. I think all you're buying this for is the beautiful card Cards. art. The card art, it, the card art is close, uh, by second to none. Real yeah, nice. Some of them, because yeah. I do have turtle. Classic. I have turtle reactions. Turtle reactions, but I cool. bought them for the card art, and yeah, and that's why I have them. I have oddball ones. I have like Alien, Predator, right? I, fifth Element. <laughs> I would have gotten Fifth Element. Yeah, they loot us. Mm. Multipass. Mm-hmm. Multipass. Uh, but yes, yeah, so they're coming out with, uh, it was uh, Roger Rabbit, Jessica Rabbit, uh, Judge Doom, and two of the weasels, Smarty and Stupid. Yep. So, I mean, for $18 and it being the only Roger Rabbit merch that's out right now, I might succumb <laughs> to one of them at least. But I don't know. I think I would get Judge Doom because I have plenty of, uh, I have plenty of, uh, Roger Rabbit, R- Roger Rabbit, and I—I I think I have one of the weasels. They had, they had a Bendem line back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So they had—you you find Bendems, and then you find the little PVC cake topper ones. Yeah, and then maybe um, I have a Roger Rabbit uh, McDonald's toy. So yeah. they might have been throughout there, but there you go. Super Seven, make them Ultimates, and I'll buy the whole set. Oh, would I? Uh, over the Hasbro, yeah. they are, uh, they've reconciled whatever, um, relationship they've had with Disney and, uh, they're going to make, uh, Indiana Jones six inch figures. What? What? So hopefully they'll be nice and cool and pertaining to the movies that we love and not the ones that we, like, <laughs> I don't want a freaking Shia LaBeouf figure. Yeah. Well, I guess if we get one. Uh, I want a, I want a, I want a nice. Look, you've done enough Han Solos. You can get his face right and get Harrison right. Ford's face right. Oh my God! Oh, almost every figure is botched. Almost. Yeah. Mm. Whatever. Let's but, see. Let's see if uh, Hasbro can uh, pull off a uh, nice Indiana Jones line. That'd be we'll cool. We'll see. Uh, and then uh, uh, Hasbro had some kind of, kind of reveal video or something or whatnot. So they showed off a bunch of Transformers. Uh, Bumblebee movie RC, which I don't remember her being in the movie. Um, and uh, Ironhide as well. Uh, 86 movie series Junkyard. So he's cool Ooh, to go with Junkyard. Your, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. He had like parts of like Redgar and whatnot, but yes. he's really cool. Uh, Dino, Dinobot Slug, which is cool, the uh, Brontosaurus one. Cool. Uh, Beast Wars Sandstorm, which is <laughs> it's pretty much an orange, yellow, purple scorpion. Another right. like, scorpion. Uh, Nightcrawler and Buzzsaw, which is a big, giant bee. It's pretty cool. Uh, vintage Scorponok is coming, and also a Vintage uh, yeah. Tigatron. Uh, the white also, tiger, right? Yes, yeah. the white one, right. Uh, and also, uh, from Hasbro, Star Wars Black Series, they showed off um, a Boba Fett from... Man, uh, Book of Boba Fett. No, it's not. No? It's from something else. Oh, the, the droid show? That something would it be. I don't know much of Star Wars anymore, yeah. so I didn't understand but they're also doing an updated cad bane so i imagine he because he just showed up yes. in the book of fat yes which was pretty cool yeah and the last thing on my news list is fortnite battle royale these uh these are pretty much like fortnite uh like deluxe figures so it's pretty much like a, a figure and like a crazy accessory uh and they're coming out with man cake uh i've never heard like i said uh fortnite has these cool figures and i love anything that it's food related yeah and man cake is a cowboy with a stack of pancakes as a head nice uh it comes with a really extensive uh accessories and comes with a big cannon uh, it's really cool but i can't yeah. wait to if i find that i'm gonna scoop that up real quick sick yeah, yeah do it so uh yeah that's my news man nice that's my news i'm getting freaking Text messages from Benny Rose. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Cool. That's a different stuff. Yeah, so. Ah, uh, so we want to get to next, bud, because well, we have a we have a promise to fulfill. I think that's I think we need to fulfill our promise. Well, we're gonna do episode. right. We're gonna do that last. Okay. So show me a booty hole. So we're gonna go into show, show me your booty, booty hole. <laughs> So today, uh, today we went to uh, Woodbridge. You want to do that? Yeah, we can start there. Yep, for sure. Oh, show. Sure. Went to it. Woodbridge. Grab your bags. Grab your bags. Bag up. All right. All right. All right go shot for shot. Yeah, go ahead. You go first. Okay. Well, I found uh, you, you were technically the first purchaser. Uh, I was. Yes, I. I found uh, a bin of. Uh, PVCs and, uh, toys. So, uh, McDonald's toys. So the first thing I got here Ooh. is a Burger King gargoyles? gargoyles toy. Uh, it's kind of like, um, one of those, uh, Viewmaster. Ooh. Uh, it's, it's just really freaking cool. So I pulled that out. Catch gargoyles on TV. Right. Got yeah, Goliath there breaking through. Right. Yeah, so this is shot. like a uh if for those listening, it's like it looks like a box that is in the shape of like a cathedral, a cathedral window. And it's got a button on the side and a little view uh hole for your eye. And you, you look got in a there. Whole episode here. And it's one. a view master. Um I also got this here, this animation uh, King Kids Club. Animaniacs, a pinky in the brain toy. Seems to have uh, yeah, they're on like a little oh, thing that's with cool. the ball, whatever. It's got like that extendable right. accordion. I also grabbed uh, here this uh, Venom. Ooh, that's awesome! Venom Burger King car, very cool. I have Animated I have this Venom. Yeah, I have the Spider Man. So oh, I figured I'd grab nice that. that. I also grabbed. Uh, this is uh, what's her face from Darkwing Duck. Yep, uh, his daughter. Get her name. Yep. At the moment, doesn't make me a fake fan. <laughs> is that? Um, maybe. This is a. Uh, oh, you saw that from uh, Land Before Land Time. Before time they had a bunch of other ones. Yeah, too. I feel like I may have this already, but it was just a deal to throw it into. Give me the. It was like six figures. Something like that. Yeah, I saw the rest of these. I was going to grab a few. And this here, this uh, Taz. Taz. PVC. Right? It's six, right? Yeah. One, so that was my first two, stop. Three, four, six. And I got that little lot there for 10 bucks. 
Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Nice. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah, really good. Yeah, especially like I love this stuff. These little pe- this bring me back, man. Yeah, this stuff brings me back. Like the little pigtails move. Yeah, I see. Yeah, she'll she'll. I have I have the uh, Funko Disney and Afternoon oh, yeah, ones. Go perfect with those. I don't have I don't have a, a vintage uh, Darkwing Duck. Darkwing like, Duck. But I have heard the, in the little PVC form, like from uh, the Kellogg uh, cereal. So great theme song. Yeah, that was All my right. first. That was my first stop. Nice. All right. So what was your my first? first stop? And now, uh, speaking of uh, Book of Boba Fett, I figured that speaking of better to get than uh, Boba, Boba Fett, Fett himself in nice. a black series. This is the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back um, with the carbonized graphite finish. Yeah, it's real nice. Shiny. Shiny. Awesome. With his customized Mandalorian armor, deadly weaponry, and silent demeanor. Boba Fett was one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy. And now he's not so silent anymore. <laughs> I don't watch the show, man, but it is awesome. I'm not I'm I'm hearing mixed reviews. I love it. Um, so I saw this at the show and I I had been through the entire show. I I I kept going past where you were at and just blew through the whole place because I, I really needed to see what what was there before I made any purchases and I saw this and I was like, Oh man, with the hype from the show, it's probably going to be more money than I'm going to want to spend on it. Uh, so, you know, I was just standing there for a little bit and I was like, nobody's coming over here. So, all right, let me flag somebody down. How much do you want for this? And she turned back and said 20 bucks. No kitty. This would be, Easily a twenty dollar purchase in the Sorry, store. I'm yelling, I'm yelling, yelling at That's the cat. All right. My bad. She's good. She's cute. Um, yeah, so we got Boba Fett for twenty bucks. Oh dude. It's a good deal. That's a good deal, especially with all the hype going on. This is a solid figure and the paint job is really cool on it. So yeah, that was my first purchase. Nice. I thought I was done there. <laughs> right. All right. So what did you get next? Oh uh, well, after that, uh I think a couple of tables down. Guy had a bunch of uh hey kid. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she likes toys now too. Who is it? It's 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 Sting. So yes, AEW uh Luminaries collection. Uh this is unmatched. Right? Yeah, series two, unmatched. Sting. Not the Sting. chase. Not the chase with the Darby Allen half face paint but the actual the one his debut with oh, the bat and the trench coat uh yeah the guy had a great price on it i scooped it up real fast this is one of the ones i've been hunting uh something that i'm always looking up on pop finder to see if it's in yeah. stock anywhere uh it's the only uh well there's, there's two other figures in the in the uh wave that i want but this was like the number one i had to get them Luminous. and uh yeah, he he is uh really freaking awesome, and I love it. Oh man, this is awesome, dude! Any Sting figure is a stunner piece. Um, it's just great. Uh, this is the first AEW figure of his. Yes, and then there's a Chase version that you find at Walmart, where he doesn't face paint. he doesn't yeah he has uh, a half half of uh, Darby's uh, face paint and no jacket. Uh, the bats in hand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't see the the uh, appeal in that one. But everybody seems to love it. So you know, everybody likes different things. I really like this. This was the one that I preferred, and I was glad that I found them. That's a banger. They is. It's Sting, the legend, the icon. Love it. Um, love it what love did you get? Um, let's see. All right. Yeah. Let's go with these. So these were. Um, at a table where it was like a five dollar bin, and uh, if you bought more than one, they became eight. Oh, for two. Gotcha. So uh, we have the. This is a foot vehicle. Oh, the. Sh- uh, I- I'm not uh, exactly sure. The, oh this, man, this, the sewer, sewer surf. No. Um. Damn it. 
I mean, I, I should know the name of the thing because I've, I've, ha- I've, I had one and had to search for all the pieces for it. Yes. Um, um, so yeah, we'll get back to you on the name on this bad surfer. boy here, but this is, um, one of the foot vehicles for, uh, water and in the sewers. I've definitely had one of these when I was a kid and took it into the bathtub and yes, so did I. ruined the uh, stickers that would be on the side. This one actually had pretty good stickers. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're all on there pretty good. Usually this front one is really messed up. Uh, so yeah, it was in good shape. Um, it's missing a couple pieces, but that's all right because at least I have something to show for it. No, that's um, really cool. And I will put him with the Rat King in just like he is in the uh, Super Nintendo game. Why can't I find this thing? Oh, my God. I definitely uh, i am trying to catch the, the foot ski. Foot ski. That's it. It's the foot ski. Bode boom. Well, let me, let me see what it's missing. Uh, uh, like you're missing purple, the flag. You're missing the handles. Purple handle. A flag. I might have that flag. All right, and the bomb. Um, the bombs on the side, like on. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's not a huge priority to have it complete. Just as long as I have something to put my racking on, I'm cool with that. So you got that there. And a boom. And a sky sled. Boom. No one. Yeah. Twenty twenty one sky sled with that bottom piece here. Um, so I'll probably use that as like a flight stand, hang it, and. Uh, you know, just have it suspended. I have the atom up here. I'm gonna grab. So you have the whole uh, set. You put. You completed it without completed buying it. it. Without buying it. <laughs> and I have there the box you too. You gave me the box. I did. So I still have. I still have a sky sled in box. Oh, yeah. I barely paid. The uh, Adam was a gift, I think, from you. Yeah, you sly dog. Thank I had you. gotten a second one because I wanted the uh, the bad guy sled. You can just switchable right. parts to make it for the bad guys. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I have my triclops on one. There we go. He, I need. I, I like that he can at least grip the grip this and whatever. Very nice. There you go. There you go. Completed a. Uh, Prince Adam and Sky Sled. So yeah, we got some bad vehicles from Chris Diz. That was all I got from the show. Chris unless unless we could talk about the trade skis. Had trade skis with uh Ben Benny Rose. All right, so yeah, we'll get to that. Um, and then that wasn't it for. No, you have one more thing from the from the show. Uh, uh well, I got my wife's thing. Well, yeah, well, I left it. I left it in the car. Uh, okay. uh, so we were at this one guy, and he had this. Give me a second. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think it's McFarlane, right? Is this McFarlane? Who makes this? Uh, more, uh, more, more action. More, more action, action collectibles. collectibles. Uh, this is Spike from Buffy, Buffy the, the Vampire, Vampire Slayer. Slayer. Dude. Uh, my my uh, my wife's a big fan of Buffy. We have oh, Buffy. Yeah. I think she has Buffy and. Angel, and she's been wanting figure. That's she's been wanting a spike. Now they made a lot of these figures and different variations of each character, and this is probably the best looking spike I've ever seen. The only thing that sucks is he doesn't come with a vampire face, but other than that, his regular face looking, he looks uh, real good, really good head. So um, whatever time this was, yeah. Let's see what the year is. Two thousand five or two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. This is a twenty-two year old figure. <laughs> and it looks that good. And it looks this great. I feel, wow. I feel it. it's thick and yeah. Wow, they made things a lot better back then. Right. So uh I uh she got a- she was like, Yes, 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 please. So I ran back and got a f- um and then also he had on the table or on the shelf he had a Dick Tracy coffee mug. Dick Tracy coffee mug. So, so I was, was like, like, I will take that too, sir. We had already left. We yeah. Had gone to, we'd gone back to the car. We met up with Ben. It, the show was pretty much over. I had I had gotten this and my and my two loose things, the sky sled and the foot ski. And I had texted my wife earlier about this figure. She hadn't gotten back to me until we got back to the car. Right. And she was like, Yes, yes, yes. So we ran back in. 
So he ran back in to go get it. And it happened to be the same guy that had a bunch of legends. So I was like, peaked. well, when I, when Ben first walked in, he was, that's who he bought with that guy. So yeah, that he, guy got something out of all of us. Yeah. Ben, Ben got, um, a Jay Jonah from him and a black cat retro wow. Spider-Man. So that was cool. Right. Um, so yeah, we had already done business with him, so it was cool. Um, and you said, Hey, can I see that Dick Tracy mug? Dick Tracy mug. There was a figure inside of the Dick Tracy mug. Yeah. Just chilling like a hot tub. So, so I was like, well, I will take the mug. And he was going to take the figure out. So I, I asked on it. I was like, Hey, what, a, what do you got on this female sentinel mm. sentinel prime female from the Haslab sentinel boom i don't have this i don't have a Haslab sentinel so to see this figure loose and in package at a toy show for a reasonable price you jump on it you Matt jump on Daddy it say you jump jump so um yeah he he had a good price on on this and on Polaris, I was after this Polaris for uh, quite a while. I have another Polaris, the other one from the X Factor set, but I like the classic look also. Um, just can't go wrong with uh, that family, the Maximoffs. That's pretty pretty fun. Um, so we got these two figures here from that score. And if it wasn't for you going in and asking about that Dick Tracy, I would have never found this. You would have never seen it. Wow. Yeah. Big your fate, babe. Yep. That's it. So man. it was a, it was a good day to a great day mm -hmm. in no time. Sure thing. Oh, kick ass, man. All right. So I'm going to go into what I traded with Benjamin. Okay. You didn't see some of this stuff. No, I didn't. All right. So I, I, I have one thing that you haven't seen. You know, we all, we all look out for each other. Yeah. Um, I was looking out for you. Yes, you were. Am I getting it? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, shoot. I walked into, uh, you if you, if you, if you look at, if you look at my TikTok, I TikTok this. I found oh, a whole peg of, uh, retro card Spider-Man symbiote black suit Spider-Man. Um, I found, oh. Oh, Peg, uh, this is yours, my friend. Um, I bought one for uh, Ben as well. And one for myself. Doodle. So, uh, and also I found um, I found oh. a couple of uh, Fortnite figures as well. So we had a little trade ski. So Nice. Well, this is for you, though. This is awesome. Nice. Guys. Nice. Thank you, bro. Spider-Man. Thank you. Um, that's dope. I was, uh, <clears throat> I had this whole wave pre, uh, pre ordered. I said this last time. Right. And they pushed it to May. Oof. So, uh, I'm much happier to see this early February. Mm. All right. So one day Ben called me up and he's like, Hey, I'm in Walmart. And I found this, this, and that. Blah, blah, blah. What are you looking for? So I was like, I'm really not looking for much, but you know, if I you ain't see something, looking for you know, much. Uh, he goes, well, I found these Ghostbusters. You know, the I found the kids. I was like, wait, which kids? Okay. And he's like, because uh, I already have Lucky and Podcast, right? And I was like, I'm looking for Phoebe and um, Trevor. And he okay. goes, oh yeah, they're here. I was like, please. What? So we have uh, Phoebe, oh, the Fright Features. Fright Features. Not, the, not the Plasma Series, the Fright Features. Okay. They came with the little monsters. This comes with Muncher oh, from the movie. Oh, how cute. Muncher and Phoebe. And Trevor. So that completes my Ghostbusters Afterlife um, Fright Features. Because I have uh, the original guys. And, and I just put them back. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me see this one real quick. There's, uh, oh, that's cool. The Stranger Kids. Stranger Kids. The Stranger Kids. Stranger Danger Kids. And he's like, and, uh, and I was like, yeah, and, you know, the only other thing I'm really looking for, like maybe if I ever see him, uh, Transformers, uh, the War for Cybertron, Blaster. Blaster. Oh, 
He's like the Autobot boombox. Okay. He uh, he also has a cassette named Eject. Oh, wow. So he's a two for one. Yeah, pretty much. So we got here Transformers, Blaster, and Eject. Nice. Let me see. Check this. him out. Oh, wow. It's kind of like uh, a good guy version of Shockwave. Shockwave, yeah. You know? That's really cool. Soundwave, I mean. Soundwave. Not Soundwave. Shockwave. Yes. Soundwave. Oh, I love the cassette deck type chest. How That's freaking great. cool. Autobot Blaster and Eject. All right. And uh, the last thing was I quick mentioned, and he was like, well, I have it. So I'll give you it. And uh, I'm waiting. He goes, I have it, but I have one on uh, pre-order. So you can have the one that I have. I'm like, okay. We have. The The Batman, Batman. from uh, McFarlane. We got the uh, Robert Pattinson Batman. Wow. Um, in this wave, you have Penguin, Catwoman, and Riddler, but I'm not interested in those. I just wanted the Batman. The Batman, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a really nice figure. I got one of the defects. Oh, yeah? Uh, his, uh, his stomach piece that in the torso is upside down, actually. I've noticed. I saw that in a video. Interesting. So I'll just throw that in some hot water for a couple of minutes and soften it up and just pop it up and flip it around. Nice. That way that'll be, he'll be perfect. But I like the, um, the cape design. Yeah. His armor is really cool. And yeah, no, he's pretty yeah, sick, that's, man. That's really nice. It's a really nice figure. Uh, I think the movie's going to be pretty badass. I'm hoping it's going um, to be, but I'm hype. I'm hype. All right. I'm down. Shit. Shit, yeah. Yeah, we'll put him over here. Yeah. So, uh... There you go. All right, and then I just bit the bullet this morning. Oh, yeah? He was the last one. Oh, you did. It's Masterverse Stinkor. He was the only one in the Masterverse line that's out right now that I didn't have. So you got the Scareglow, the Andre, the Fisto last time. Yeah. And I left yeah, him out, and now I have him. Now you stink or mm -hmm. what's that smell? <laughs> yep. Does it smell? No, I don't think so. I heard that the origins one does, but I haven't opened that one yet. Oh, look at the extra head. It's got the mask. The, the mask, mask on from the yeah, from the oh, that's yeah. cool. He's pretty cool. It's cool. Come on. Yeah. He Come was on. the first one I found in the store that day that they that didn't they sell it to me. <laughs> yes. But he was the only one I didn't have, and I wasn't going to get Spike or, yeah. but I have him already, so. Very cool. Whatever. There he is. And uh, that's all I brought, bro. That's, that's my booty got. hole. I went, I went in, I, I, you know, I TikTok some stuff, like I found the Garbage Pail Kids blind box. Oh, yeah, I saw that. So I bought a few of those, fun. Um, and just so happened, the first one that I bought, I got exactly what I wanted. Oh, shit. I was like, so Awesome. <laughs> Uh, so that's that was right. Adam Bond and that, done it, right? Yeah. Uh, but I had bought two other ones that I didn't open yet, but I had opened them. I opened them by now. And right. I got Upchuck, which is like a baby puking, which is just, just so nice. Yeah. <laughs> but they're cool little, uh, little figures and stuff like that. But it was, cool. uh, it was kind of a slow... Slow start to the yeah, year. Yeah, my my uh, Christmas was huge. So yeah, well, the turtles and then the, the turtle Power Rangers came that was in. A big deal. They came in the mail, so that way they go with that shredder that I had gotten at the last toy show. Yeah, right, exactly. So it uh, it kind of worked. I'm out. pretty good and now with the this Batman and this thing. I don't have to go searching anymore. I'm yeah. I am uh, good. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing well. Good for a few months. I don't, have to buy, well. I don't have to buy anything, but I'm still going to be in that store every day. So, um, yeah, like you said, this month was kind of on the slower side, uh, but I did make one big boy purchase, and we're, we're going to have a little uh, debate session on, what, on when certain things get out of reach. How do you justify them? Okay. So um, let's discuss. Let's discuss. So. Like we said, you have figures like this where, um, you know, you, you had to pay, you know, upwards of $400 to even have this included in your package. So when you catch it for, you know, a decent price, you go for it. Uh, so we went for that. 
Now this, this is technically some type of an import figure. It did have a States release, but it, um, it hasn't been seen since. And, uh, you know, I think the base price on it was around 80 bucks when it was out. So give or take, you know, almost $90 with tax. Okay. Okay. I was able to score um, this figure for 107 shipped. Now, it's $107 for a base figure. Oh. But I could it has two separate mm, side characters. Me in the episode, kitty kitty. She's dying to get in. Um, and it comes with two accessory um, other figures as well, if you want to call them. So I will bring them up and we'll see what we're talking about. Oh, man. Four and a half inch Ooh. Mega Man. Oh, my God. Fully customizable. It comes with multiple faceplates, uh, multiple busters and hand configurations. Um, but most importantly, oh, my God. I did not even see the ear is busted off of this. A little glue. Is it broke? A little oh glue is going to have to do. Oh my God, you're talking about how you just spent $100 on this and it's broken. Yeah, I just broke the ear. How did you do that? It was laying on its side. It was laying on its side? Did you drop it? No, I just put it down there to... to then that shit was broken before you got it. And there, is there dried glue on there? I don't think so. I might, I might have done it. Well, anyway. Oh, wow. It's a little mega dog. What's his name? Oh, it's, it popped back in. Okay. It's on a joint. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So it's not All so right, broken. Breathe. Breathe Whew. easy. So anyway, yes, you have Rush, the Rush. mega dog, who um, for the first time can be articulated into his um, flight position. You can put the legs back up. So now, what's the um, flat. who's the maker of these? Uh, this is digi digital arts, so D arts. It's um, a form of Tamashi, like Bandai type figure. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, it was a premium figure to begin with, with all the accessories and everything that you would do. And the basically, it's about the scale. So they don't make a. a a Mega Man that is of scale that's substantially a good figure. All of the figures that you find, whether it's, um, you know, a, a, a four and a half or a five or a six inch figure doesn't fit with the other types of figures that go along with it. So this is the ideal size to scale with, let's say, a legend. Or, you know, any type of... Oh, okay. So even at a four-inch height, that's how tall he would be standing next to a six-inch... Exactly. That he's scale. Like a boy. He's, he's, you know, a small figure in comparison. I gotcha. So this is the one that you go for. If you're going to collect and, and have, you know, a scaled Mega Man for your Legends... Uh, basically in honor of like Marvel versus Capcom, which is one of my favorite all time games. Uh, you would have this figure for that display. I mean, from a construction standpoint, these things are tits, man. They really, really are. Like it's, it, it feels solid. It feels like you have a good product in your hand. It's heavy. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. Because, like you're saying, this is not like a six-inch figure. This is a four-inch scale. So, as small as it is, you would think that there would be a light piece of crap. But it's actually got some weight to it. It's got metal pins in the joints. Yeah, they're solid construction. Um, they're very cu customizable, especially the the Mega Man. The face would come off. The the head helmet comes apart in two, and you can change out his expression to a more neutral or a smiling. So, yeah, you got, you got a bunch of options there. Came with another buster 
that you could um, hook up the blast shot to. So yeah, these. So this is uh, so this is complete as it was released. Yeah, yeah, everything was there. Nothing was nothing was was messed up about it. Everything was good, but it was a hefty price tag. Like I said, it was around one hundred seven ship. Yeah, I made an offer uh, on it. That was where that that was that's where that's is the, that where the debate the debate is. So would I have spent a hundred dollars on these? Right. I mean, <laughs> you probably. I'm not. I'm not. A Mega Man mark like you are, right? I am. You know, I mean, I get it. Most, most, and if I was a Mega Man, I mean, I feel like if I was a Mega Man fan, I would be. I wouldn't be happy with the Mega Man figures that are out right now because they're all very cutesy Japanesey. I mean, it is a Japanese thing, but yeah. it's like to be this accurate. The accuracy of it, yeah, yeah. I mean. I just uh, the shininess on the bottom of the feet. See it? Yeah, they're really it's really nice, but they're really well done. Uh, so here's I, how I, I break think it. I would have done it. Bro. I set. I I usually set a hard price limit on a single figure, um, and it's around sixty bucks. I won't go above sixty for a single figure. Reasonable. It just doesn't feel good after that. Um. So <laughs> I kind of sized this one up in my mind as 60 and then 40, 20, no, 20, 20 maybe. This, oh man, this hat fell off. It, it, oh, hat comes off. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, so it's, you know, they're, they're a little more than, than meets the eye. I don't know. I can't justify the price at all. But, uh, but they're yours now. They are mine, and it completes the hunt. Because if you really want that great Mega Man figure for your display, it's this one. That's true. This is the one. There's a Sentinel one that is around the same same size and same articulation. Right. But this one comes with Rush and the little Eddie uh, bad guy here. So this is it's perfect. You, you, you can't lose. Um, so yeah. I was really happy about this score. It kind of scratched that itch for me. A long time itch of not having a perfect uh, Mega Man. So now yeah, I have it. good job, man. So there it no, is. looks great. Yeah. Very nice. Expensive. Congratulations. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. So what else? What else? What do you got? Uh, I'm, I'm empty, man. That's All it. All right. So the holes are done. Holes are done. All right. Well, we're going to fulfill our promise. Yes, we are. We are going to talk about Battle, Battle Trolls. Trolls. Uh, this, uh, this line is, um, I, it's one of those lines where it's just like, I don't know, they're just weird. Yeah, they are weird. And stupid. Uh, kind of pointless. Yeah. They don't have the best articulation. They, there were, they were an answer to an existing property so we got battle trolls now they're all right uh, I'm, I'm i'm gonna go through um all right let's go through them like this okay so um battle trolls was a uh figure by hasbro a figure line by hasbro that um was pretty much the answer to the girls trolls Remember trolls and treasure trolls and stuff like that. I actually have one to show off as an example. Uh, where you at? This is a troll. Okay, so that's a regular. So troll. we all know about the trolls. Okay. Um, and they wanted to make like a boys' version of these and make them appeal to boys. So their answer was the yeah, battle the trolls. trolls. Um. This one in particular is a red variant of the uh, uh, tro Troll Clops. His motto is, get it, clobber it. His most, uh, I think, I think, um, I think I have another version of them. I have a whole bunch of them. I, I'll just pull them out. Yeah, go for it. And, and we'll, uh, we'll go through each one. So this one right here is, he's a uh, Count Trollula. Count Trollula. Count Trollula is pretty much like a superhero vampire. He's like in purple and he's got yellow hair. 
and uh, a cape and fangs, and it says CT across his chest. CT. How freaking weird. Count Trollula. Count Trollula. Um, oh we got, uh, yeah, we got, this is a, like a robo-troll, I think. robo Let's see, Let's see what, what his name is. I'm looking on uh, figurerealm.com. Um, there he is. A troll bot. Troll bot. Right, he came out in oh, 1992. Is I think it was a... Meow. Meow. Kitty's blocking the screen. Um, also, let's see what else we got here. We got, uh, I think this is like the punk rocker troll. So, uh, what do you think of these men? Dude, look at this hair. It's the, the Billie Eilish. Well, that's like there. there. That's, that's the, uh, yeah, this is a punk troll. They don't stand very well. No. See, their articulation is at the waist. That okay. is it. Just so the waist. If you wanted, like, to get this guy to stand, I mean, like, it's really Let's no... see. Let's see. Let's check him out. He's really tough. This this one stands good. Yeah, it's like... Uh, he, he doesn't want to... His legs are too soft. Maybe they are. I don't know. Yeah, he's but these are profit. these were I didn't have these as a kid, but I found them later in hunts yeah. and all that. Um, yeah. Here we got a super troll. Uh, oh missing, yeah, I remember this one. He's missing his cape, but you know he's kind of weird looking, shiny face, black hair, jumpsuit with ST across his chest like Superman. So That's so far, troll. you've got. A little gamut of color going on here. You got some yellow hair on a red body, uh, yellow hair on a purple body. You got pink hair on a silver body, green and black hair on a green and black body. I know. And black hair on a on a super suit. I like it. Yeah. So far, very varied. Uh, I have this guy. I can't find out what his name is. He's kind of like a Viking. Looking. He's got like horns, a uh, beard, a white beard. Uh, I think he came with yeah, the Trollosaurus, the right? Yep. So it's like he was, there was a Trollosaurus as a rideable dinosaur looking troll. Wow. So odd. Me that this um, I have, this is Trolloff, which is pretty much a green and red variant of the that one that we one. just looked at. Like this yeah. guy kind of looks like Aquaman. So it's pretty much the same. It's like he's got a white beard, but he's, he's got, got a red, red beard. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's the Black same exact thing. Yeah. So it's just different same color thing, variant. but a variant. Yeah. Same thing. Cool. I think I had the same thing with the troll bots. Nice. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah. We got, uh, oh, this one is like oh, a terminated yep. troll. That's the one I have. You have this guy? Yes. So. You, you, I remember you saying that you wanted this figure, and I'm glad right. you found one because I, I had a hard time for some reason giving this one up. Yeah, no, he's got like half a robot f face and arm is. Oh, here it is, Trollminator. Trollminator. The Trollminator. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Really like the T1000. Yeah. Um, I got another troll bot, but he's got yellow, yellow hair. Troll. So he's bot. got a pink hair with like. Yeah, that's it. It's just the it's just the hair. Just yeah, the pink still got hair and yellow the, hair. The blueness to it. See that they're, they're tough to see. Like when you're out there hunting now. Now that I know that there's variants, I don't know which ones you're getting. Yeah. True. Um. All right. Let's see who's next. What else we got? Troll hair everywhere. Uh, troll troll hairs hair everywhere. Everywhere. You're nasty, rich. Got the troll hairs everywhere. So I think this is. Uh, Sergeant Troll. Sergeant Troll. Sergeant Troll. Uh, he's got um, orange hair. Orange hair. He's got some camo. And <laughs> he's out there with, yeah, with his toes out of his boots. He's yeah. working so dang hard. Uh, he's got a bandana wrapped around his head. He's got the, uh, the bullets and the belt across his chest. So an army troll. Yeah. Um... We also got here, I'm going to just say, it's the football troll. He's got yeah. a football helmet on, a ripped shirt. Um, your cat is making love to my trolls. Meow. They were probably... What does it look like in the video? Oh, it looks great. 
Got a cat across my trolls. <laughs> you got a cat across my trolls. Uh, and That's then I got the uh, the cop troll, the police troll. This guy's a little uh, kind of filthy, but uh, yeah, we got the police troll there. Yeah. So, like, look at how many there how many are. Trolls there are. Oh and this was a line God. that was only out for like a year. And we got a Franken troll. It was like Frankenstein, purple skin with uh, green hair. Very cool. And I think that's going to conclude. Oh, no, no. I still got a few more. Okay. I'll get another army troll. This one is... Blue hair army troll. This is general. Wait, that's general troll? And this is sergeant troll. Okay. So this one is sergeant troll. And this is general, general troll. So they both are in the army. General camo. troll. General yeah. troll has the blue hair. Right. Well... This variant does, I guess. Yeah. Oh, why? Do you have another variant? Well, I mean, I I didn't know that there were different robot ones, so there might be different. He has his toes out, too. Those. Yeah. And I think I got one more battle troll left here. And it is... I'm, see, as I'm pulling him out, I'm looking on the... Uh, okay, so this is road dog troll Ooh. um this is actually kind of like uh like a mad maxi type of bad guy type of troll if they can name him road dog troll he looks weird white skin red eyes white hair he's got like a powder blue and ar- blue armor and stuff weird so those are the battle trolls man battle troll but don't get confused because there are other troll lines out there such as Troll Force. Yes. So we got this, uh, this, like, uh, did I give you that one? I think you might have given me this I one. I think I gave you that one. This is Troll Force. Troll Force. This is also Troll Force. I think it's crazy guy. No, I, Look at this maybe crazy guy. That one. This guy is crazy. Yeah, he's like a he's BDSM like, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a harness and studs. He looks like Rob Halford with pink hair. <laughs> um, so these That's are awesome. Troll Force. Oh, wait, I got another troll Battle Troll. This is the Ninja, the ninja Troll. Oh, yep. Watch who out. Did, who didn't want that one back right, then? The ninja Troll? Battle Troll? Green hair. And then there were Troll Warriors. Oh, yeah. These Look were more these? like figure Ugly. styles. Yeah, so these are like, like, I think it was Playmates who made them. A little more articulation than, than just a waist. <laughs> right. These, are, these would these would uh, scale up with your uh, Toxic Crusaders and Ninja Turtles and all that. You can right. buy with these. I think I remember um, this one. Uh, yeah, these are Troll Warriors. So we have Troll Force, Battle Trolls, the Treasure Trolls, regular Trolls, and then we got Troll Warriors. So you got a lot of Trolls? Bro. Yeah, and then uh, Playmates made their own line. Instead yeah. of going, calling them Trolls, like the Treasure Trolls, we have these guys, they're called Stone, Stone protectors. protectors. They protected the jewel in their chest, I believe. Does this work? Please work. Twist his arm. Does it spark? His chest sparks. Yeah, and it lights up on the inside. Uh, it's like see through. This guy definitely was. This is, a ba- this is a bad guy. I don't know their name. Uh, it's like a little one. flint gets flicked in there. I mean, Oh, there it was. I saw it. That one works. Yeah, Blank. so it's pretty much uh, a yeah, lighter flip flint. It, flip it that way. Yeah. A lighter flint. This way? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Do it. There you go. Like that, I hope so. Yep, it is. Sweet. So these are stone Killer. protectors made by Playmates, a toy line. I think it was like five five guys. Uh, five good guys and a few, mm-hmm. I don't know, like maybe two or three bad guys, but they they were all in a band together. Yes, that was like that their, was their cover, cover. Their cover on Earth is that they were in a band together. Yeah. And then uh, you know the turtles didn't stick out of that. They made the turtle trolls. Here's Leonardo as a troll. Well, I played. I paid a pretty penny for this guy. They're hard to come by. I got that same. Of one, course, yeah. they made them all. 
Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello as well. Yeah. And they also made them giant size as well. They did. Yeah. So if you're lucky enough to have any of those, I uh, I commend you. Yes. Um, but that uh that that that's our deep dive in in, in trolls. Like I have a lot of trolls, man. Yeah. Look at all this hair. Lots of hair, lots, lots of different shades. Sh- yeah, and they're just so colorful. I really love color. If you see uh pictures and videos of my collection, you see how colorful it is. Like I just I don't know, I just all the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. You know? We uh, stuff, all the variants. Stand them up, stand them up. Do all the hair. Who would think? Look at all that hair. Look at all that hair. Yeah, and so you can find these guys anywhere between like a couple bucks and like ten bucks a piece, depending upon who you're trying to buy it from. Whether it's a guy who thinks they're worth, whether it's a guy who thinks they're worth hundreds of dollars, and then there's another guy who's like, oh, two dollars a piece. Right. So I mean, I think. From the last time that I checked, I think there's about 28. That's including the the dragon rideable troll. I think there's about 28. And that's a whole, that's only one year. 92 to 93, these wow. battle trolls were in. And they made so many different types of characters. There's a, there's like Western looking ones, like, like cowboys. And um, there's a, there's a knight. Uh, let's see, slap shot. So I guess it's like a hockey playing one. Um, yeah, really cool barbarian style, dwarf looking style. They got the robots, superheroes, yeah. and then there's the Trultimate warrior. Yes, Trultimate warrior. It's it's a wrestler version of a troll. Oh, so he's one good. of my wish list. Nice. Trultimate wrestler. I'm sorry. Trultimate. Oh, he's yeah, he's sorry. the Trultimate. Wrestler. It's ultimate wrestler. So if I ever find him, I think I'll probably be done picking these stupid things up. And now that I see I'm buying doubles because they got different color hair. Ugh. You but got God. I got God. Well, this was an awesome little deep dive into I mean troll, Yeah. Yeah. Them. I mean they were one I had them up on a shelf and I had to take them down for another reason, move things around. So I was like, you know what? I got a bag of these right now. I could just grab them and take them out and check them out and look at them and see what they're about. And pretty much, uh, they are two, uh, one articulation. Uh, what would you say? That's about four or five inch. Yeah. These are about five inch. They're about five inches tall, soft body, soft head. Uh, weird ass looking trolls, man. Yeah. And I, I just, I just love that trolls, you know, these are like, you have the other types of troll, like these troll force, they're really weird looking. The faces look angry and these look more like, like trolls that I remember. And then these troll warriors are just ugly goblin looking things. And the stone protectors, that was like a cartoon of the trolls. So was, there was a show to this and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. I remember the show. Uh, I actually have the whole, almost all of the uh, stone protector the, sets. Yeah, the stone protectors are cool. Uh, it's just that their other variants are like, kind of like when the turtles started like playing sports and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's just like uh, that really doesn't work for. I just want the, f- the five core guys and the two main bad guys. True. Two or three me. There's one bad guy that's hard to find, but when you do find him, he's expensive. Jeez. Blech. Yeah. But, um, nice. yeah, man, I think, is that an episode? That's an episode. That's an episode. Um, we should go back. We, we can move all this stuff off and just put a recap of the stuff that we got again. That would be great. Why is that? Um, you know, just to cover bases, just to just go over everything, at least one more, one more pass through. Okay. Yeah. We, we already have the talking about it, so it would just be like show, basically. Oh, you just want a picture? Yeah, just oh. just some some some. Then you have to be part of the episode, man. We could have just done that afterwards. Quick drive by, and then we can wrap it up. Will you stop? Stop helping me. Leave it alone. <laughs> stop helping. He's so helpful. Are you but I'm me? a solitary guy. I like the way that I do things. I just do things, and he's like, "I'm helping." I'm like, "You're my way." I'm helping. All right. So just a quick recap for the day. We have the Boba Fett. That we got at the toy show. 
Um, we got also the sky sled. I put the atom on there afterwards. Um, we got also had the foot fright, ski. Fright features. Fright Ghost features. Busters. Ghostbusters. It's it's steam. The icon. All right. We have Polaris and the Sentinel female prime. We got Autobot Blaster and the Eject. You brought me the symbiote suit Spidey. Oh, we got Masterverse Spike or I'm sorry, Stink or Masterverse Stink or Got McFarlane, the Batman, Pattinson. The Batman, Pattinson, Batman. Well, my wife, my wife, my wife got the Buffy, the Buffy Spike. Got Buffy Spike. Spike from Buffy. Awesome. You want them at PVCs too? Um, yeah, I think we have those. All right. I think we have that. But I just wanted to make sure we got a nice little finale shot. Da, 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 da. So, with that said, wow. we, we are nearing the end of our podcast, and it was a fruitful one. It sure was. I, I, Beginning I only, of Feb. When I left my house, I only grabbed my trolls, and I was like, man, I'm glad that you know I took it easy. And <laughs> yeah, and now you're going home with a plethora. Uh, well, you know, some of it was trades from from Benny that you know just so happened that we were able to meet up, and that's awesome. Yeah, because we're always looking out for each other. I'm looking out for him. He's looking out for me, and pretty much we meet up and we're just handing each other toys. Yeah, and vice versa. Yeah. So, yeah, man, great episode. Great episode. Great day. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Great co-host I have. Ah, yes. Oh, a dra a jack ass of all three. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, my name is Rich Rampage. And I'm Grizz Diz. And we'd like to thank you for joining us for another episode of the Never Enough Toys podcast. Please catch us on Facebook and on YouTube at Never Enough Toys. Join the group at the Never Enough Toys podcast group. Uh, follow me on TikTok at Rich yeah. underscore Rampage, where I will be posting all my toy little videos and whatnot. I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. It's really fun. Uh, I try to be funny. I hope you like them and follow and like the videos and all that. And uh, again, from the Never Enough Toys podcast, we'll see you next, next time. time. Peace, everybody. Bye. Bye. Would this have been great for the video? It would have been perfect for the video. Wow. We were talking about trade skis and all. We were giving figures back and forth. I get it, yeah. It's the slime bank bin. It's the only figure of the line that was actually slimed. Why they made all four of them slime makes no sense, but yeah. I just wanted to bank them, so. Yeah, man. Brother, man. You got it. Slime. Awesome, brother. Thank you, man. You got it. <laughs> <laughs>